As the world drinks more of it, don't be surprised to see your coffee prices spike over the next few years. The head of the International Coffee Organization tells the Wall Street Journal coffee demand could rise nearly 25% by 2020. It's because coffee consumption is growing in places such as India, China, and Latin America as they become more westernized. That puts pressure on coffee growers and will likely push prices higher. Turns out Lego's tiny toy bricks aren't just fun for the kids. Brand Finance, a brand valuation consultant group, has named Lego the world's most powerful brand. Lego takes over the spot from last year's winner, automaker Ferrari. Brand Finance credits the recent Lego movie with some of the company's recent success. Talk about having a huge piece of history in your hands. William Scheid, an alumnus from Princeton University's class of 1936 who died last year, left his alma mater 2,500 books and manuscripts worth $300 million. The collection includes the first printed editions of the Bible and the Declaration of Independence and the first printed editions of Shakespeare's plays. It also includes an autographed speech by Abraham Lincoln and an autographed music sketchbook from Beethoven. A Southern California family taking a kayaking trip in Santa Barbara got an unexpected visitor. A baby sea lion jumped on board for a ride and stayed with the family for about an hour. They say they were blown away by how friendly the little guy was. Hundreds of people braved the cold last night for a big snowball fight in the nation's capital. Due to the larger than expected crowds, the planned snowball fight moved from DuPont Circle to a nearby park. Many even turned out in costumes for the event organized on social media. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.